Hi, Proc. My name is Blake. I use they, them pronouns, and I hope that I'm able to help you today. Now, what we're going to look at, I'm just going to look at part E through H, because I think that once you understand E through H, it should hopefully be straightforward on how to do the rest of these problems. But if not, let me know, and I am happy to help, help you, and maybe we can even schedule a session. Um, so let's look at part E first. Now over here, we have the graph of the function h of x. And we're asked to find the limit as x approaches 0 minus of h of x. What that means is that we're being asked to see what the y value is that we're approaching as we get closer and closer to x equals 0, right? As we get closer and closer to the x value of zero, what y value are we getting closer and closer to? So over here, this is where x equals zero on this x, uh, this y axis over here. This is where x is equal to zero. And we're just trying to see as we get closer and closer to this x equals zero line from the left, what is our function approaching? So as we do that, we can see that our function is getting closer and closer to one, positive one. So for E, our answer is positive one. For F, now we're asked to see what the limit is as X approaches zero plus of H of X. In other words, we're asked to see as we, as we approach X equals zero from the right, from the right, what y value are we getting closer and closer to? So if we approach x equals zero from the right now and follow the graph, trace the graph, follow the graph, we can see that y is getting closer and closer to negative one now. So the limit is x approaches zero plus of h of x is now negative one. So for part g, now this is asking for the limit as x approaches zero of h of x. So if we're asked for the limit as x approaches a number and we don't have any plus or minus after, what that means is that we're trying to see which number um, we get when we approach x equals zero on both sides, on both sides. And here's the thing, these have to agree, right? Whatever number that we're approaching as we approach x equals zero has to be the same uh, from the left, excuse me, whatever number we're approaching um, as we approach x equals zero from the left has to be the same as the number we're approaching um, when we approach x equals zero from the right. They have to agree. And if they don't agree, um, then the limit does not exist. And that's what we have here. From the left, this is going to positive one. From the right, this is going to negative one as we approach uh, zero in the x direction. So what that means is that the limit as x approaches zero of h of x actually does, oh, let me write that out better, does not exist. So we would write d in e, meaning does not exist. Um, so that's the answer for part g. For part h, we're asked to find h of zero. What that is saying is if we plug in zero for X, what's our Y, right? So um, at X equals zero, we can see that this dot over here is filled in and this dot over here is not filled in. So the dot that's filled in, that means that that point is actually part of the graph of H of X. So, um, and then this open circle means that this dot is actually not part of the graph of H of X. So because the closed, the closed dot is up here, that means that when we put in zero for our function, we get a Y value of one. So H of zero is equal to one. So there it is, part E through H. Again, I'm going to let you do the rest. Um, and if you have any more questions or want to schedule a session for more clarification, let me know. Thanks so much. Hope to see you soon.